today we'll be discussing examination of an obstetric patient the abdominal part so whenever we examine a patient the first thing we have to ensure is that she has passed urine we've taken consent from her we've explained to her the procedure and we've exposed the abdomen from the xiphy sternum till the pubic symphysis so first thing we do is inspection on inspection we can see that the abdomen is distended with a gravid uterus the umbilicus is central and inverted there is linea nigra and if you look carefully there is a previous cesarean section scar or a fan steel scar next we ask the patient to flex her legs dono pair bolo and we proceed with palpation on palpation the first thing we see is the uterine height so with the ulnar border of my left hand i palpate from the xiphy sternum and i come down till i first feel resistance i am getting resistance here so this uterus corresponds to 32 weeks gestation because this is where i am feeling resistance So this is the uterine height or the fundal height. The next thing we do is a symphysal fundal height. So using a using a measuring tape from the fundus where I palpated resistance till the pubic symphysis, we measure the length. So we usually do it in in, in the, on the inches side to avoid bias. Wait one second. From the fundal height till the pubic symphysis the bone where i feel resistance and then i turn and see this is coming to around 30 cm so the symphysal fundal height should correspond to the period of gestation plus minus 3 cm between 20 to 36 weeks of gestation the next thing we do are the grips so the grips are the first grip is the fundal grip where i palpate to see what structure is in the fundus is it the breech or the head the second is the lateral grips where I stabilize one side and I feel on this side, and similarly I feel on the other side. This helps me determine which side the back is and which side the limbs are. The third grip or the first pelvic grip is facing the patient. I put my hand and I see what part is occupying the lower pole of the uterus. And the fourth grip or the second pelvic grip is facing the feet of the patient. I try to approximate my hands and see if they converge. or diverge so that tells us whether the presenting part has entered the pelvis or not the last thing we do is we auscultate the fetal heart on the side of the back we auscultate the heart and see the fetal heart rate so that's how you do a obstetric